Greetings and salutations, YouTube. This is Fragments of Memory, your friendly neighborhood armchair philosopher. Now, for those of you who call yourselves divesting from the black community or escaping Blackistan, I have to tell you something. You can't. You cannot divest. It is impossible. You can't escape being black. You can interracially date. You can have biracial children. You can marry whomever you wish. You can freak, creep, and get down with the get down with whomever you wish. But you cannot escape being black. Your skin and your DNA are yours and it isn't going anywhere. Even if you leave the ghettos, the hoods, the projects, the streets, the back alleys, and you leave it totally alone, even if you never associate with another black person ever again, you can't get away from being black. Or if you don't like black American Negro, if you don't like American Negro, African American, if you don't like African American, you can say Hebrew Israelite, you can say Moorish American, I don't care. You can't escape being any of that. And all that it entails, you cannot escape it 100%. You can't escape how people perceive your blackness, your Moorishness, your Israeliteness. You can't escape your history. Go where you will. Keep your options open, but remember, you cannot escape the skin you're in. Love who you will. Freak who you will. You cannot escape who you are. Yolicious one. Great YouTuber. You guys should check her out. One said, our black skin indicts us. I cannot hide my black skin, barring any surgical alterations. I cannot change my black skin. Remember, a leper cannot change their spots because it is a part of them. At the end of the day, you are still black. African-American, American Negro, Moorish, Hebrew Israelite, whatever. Strive to have good character, strive for excellence, strive to rise above negativity, but you cannot not be black. Be the best that you can be, but you black man, or Moorish man, or African-American, you know what I mean, you black woman, you carry the black community on your back the black community isn't limited to a space or a place the black community is you youtuber simone 56 once did a video entitled rome is burning the black community is done she opined that the black community black collective black amalgam whatever you want to call it was done and that she was putting on her running shoes to flee blackistan I did a response video which was somewhat agreeing with her. But after some thought, I have, to, I have to go back on that statement. I have to change my mind a bit. If you are still alive, then you are not done. Only when every single black person is dead and decomposing can we say that the black community is done. We can say that the black community is in trouble, in shambles, chaotic and dysfunctional at times, but we are not done. As long as you live, as long as you draw breath in your body, as long as blood pumps in your veins, as long as your heart keeps going boom, 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 you, the black community, is still around. I was feeling nihilistic about the black community. I was feeling hopeless. I'll admit that. But you got to admit, too, that the black community is not entirely done. Yeah, we got our problems. We got our issues. But you are the black community. You are. I am. We are all pieces of the black community. So for anyone to sit up here and say, oh, it's done, it's done. That's total BS. That's total poppycock and horse manure. We're, we are the black community. Should we strive to be better? Should we strive to have better economics? Should we strive for all of that? Hey. Love who you want, marry who you want, be with who you want, but the black community is not done because, and we cannot escape it because we're, it's on us. This ain't coming off unless somebody skins me alive. But until then, this ain't coming off. Yes, ideally there's only one race, the human race, but people are still tribal. That's my two cents. What do you guys think? Take care and have a beautiful day.